All right, so I'm just gonna hold her as if I'm forcing it. I, I got a hold of her face, right? Good <laughs> girl. Yes, these were the well trained. And then I'm gonna, and then I want you to take photos as I command her to fetch, fetch, okay? And then get that still shot. All right, and I'll look like a total redneck doing it. All right, here we go. Hey folks, Marty Golden out at Fly Creek Kennels. This video is going to be about how to properly force fetch your dog. And the best way that I know how, and my professional advice to you, is to go hire a professional dog trainer. Now, some people probably already turned me off and they're no longer interested in watching, but I'm giving you the best advice I can give you. If you have never force-fetched a dog before, don't do it. Go out, do your research on what force-fetching actually is, and then find somebody that can do it for you. A reputable trainer, somebody that has done, hopefully, hundreds of dogs. Force fetching a dog is an art and you need to understand how much pressure to put on your animal at any given moment. If you've never done it before and you're trying to watch a video on YouTube on how to do it or even one of these professionally grade videos on how to do it, you're never going to understand how to truly do it. So please, don't do it yourself. You see, force fetch is not about getting your dog to enjoy retrieving more. It's not about taking a dog that doesn't like to retrieve and making them retrieve. It's about the obedience behind retrieving. It's about delivering items to your hand, whether it's a two inch vinyl bumper, whether it's a three inch canvas bumper, whether it is a docking, whether it is a pigeon, mallard, or pheasant. It's about teaching that dog how to properly hold that dog, hold that bird, or that item with the proper amount of pressure from their mouth. It's also a mental training game, okay? When I put a dog up on a force fetch table, it takes me probably four to five days maximum to get them comfortable being up there, walking back and forth, being attached to the safety chain, getting used to the chain, sliding on the safety cable and becoming comfortable with being confined to this space. Any good professional dog trainer that knows what they're doing is going to have a very long table. My table is 16 feet long, about three and a half feet wide. If you go to a professional dog trainer and they are training your dog on a tailgate of a pickup truck, walk away and leave. If you go to a facility that you feel is not capable of training your dog, walk away. This is one of the most important prerequisites to so many behaviors that you're gonna need your dog to do down the line. If you want your dog to be reliable at learning how to retrieve doubles or triples, they have to have a solid delivery to hand. That begins with a good force fetch. If you're going to work on handling down the line and you need to do an exercise like force to the pile, you need to have a dog that is properly force fetched. Diversion birds. To help teach a proper diversion bird, a solid force fetch is necessary. Why? Because you don't want your dog switching, dropping one bird 
and picking up another bird. That's the whole point behind a diversion. Finish the job at hand, bring me the original bird to my hand and then go back out and get the other bird. A dog that is trained properly with the force fetch method should be finished with an electronic collar. What I mean by that is when you ultimately need to correct a dog for a premature drop or encourage a quicker response in their fetch command, it should be done with an electronic collar. That process is taught up here on the table. And it can start with different types of pressure. It can start with an ear pinch. It can start with a toe pinch and then eventually transitioned over to electronic stimulation. That way when you're in the field, you can follow through with electronics to correct a premature drop or encourage the proper fetch. You should not, there is no way in today's day and age with the technology that we have with electronic collars that you should have to reach over, grab your dog's ear and pinch their ear and force their face down to the ground to pick up an item. That gets done on the table. We teach the dogs up here on the table how to deal with that before going to ground, as I call it. A force fetch is about the obedience behind a good, solid retrieve. Even if you just have a hunting dog that really loves to retrieve, you are going to get in situations where your dog exits water, for instance, and naturally wants to drop and shake off. Without a proper method, the force fetch, to correct that behavior, it's nearly impossible to, to get a clean result when a dog is leaving or exiting water, okay? Even young dogs that need to jump a ditch, holding onto an item and jumping a ditch and bringing a bird or an item all the way to you is an important skill. The foundation to that is a solid force fetch. And ultimately, if you want a properly trained dog to an electronic collar, you really want to be able to teach them a few different techniques with that collar. One, stay where I put you. Two, come when I call you. Three, go where I send you. And four, pick up what I tell you. A dog that is properly trained to an electronic collar will understand when you use the collar in those moments what is expected of them. So I'm not going to show you how to force fetch a dog. As a matter of fact, anybody on the internet who is trying to teach you how to force fetch a dog in a video is doing you a disservice. You got to think about the alternative motive. Are they looking for thumbs up? Are they looking for subscriptions? Are they looking for comments? Or are they selling commercials? Because there is no way in a video that I can teach you, even if it took me a month to put the video together and I gave you a step-by-step -step process, which in my program is about a 67 step process for the dogs to truly understand what it is that I need from them when I tell them hold, when I tell them fetch, and when I tell them drop. Anybody who says they force fetch their dog in a week either doesn't understand the technique to force fetching or is lying to you, one or the other. So when you're looking for a trainer, I want you to find somebody who has, again, a reputable reference list and check it. Call people. See how their dog was at the finish line. What kind of attitude did they have when they got home and started working with their owners? It should be a good one. A good trainer has, has at least got to have trained 10 dogs on the force fetch. And those 10 dogs should have been supervised by somebody who's trained hundreds of dogs on the force fetch. I will tell you as a pro, it is probably my least favorite part of training gun dogs, hunting dogs, game dogs. 
It's a pressure-based system and it's tedious. It's a step-by-step -step. and every one of these dogs is slightly different. So we have to understand exactly what type of pressure to put on them, how much pressure to put on them, when to stop our session, how many sessions we need per day in order for that particular dog to be successful. Another thing I'd like to say is some dogs aren't designed to be force fetched. Some dogs do not handle the pressure of the force fetch well. And you could ruin your dog. If you have a dog that doesn't already love to retrieve and you want to work with that dog at a higher level or a really solid hunting dog, your dog does not like to retrieve, my suggestion is you go get a new dog. And I'm not trying to be a jerk. Hang on to that dog. Save that dog as a pet. Make a great companion. But do not put yourself through hell trying to change a dog's excitement level about retrieving by putting him on a force fetch table and thinking that, well, he doesn't like to retrieve, but we'll fix that in force fetch. No. What I tell my clients is when their dog is sloppy about bringing an item to me and they're not delivering it right to me and they're dropping it at my feet or they're dinking around with it or they're running around, that's when I tell them, don't worry, your dog has great excitement for retrieving. I can't teach that. But I can clean up the obedience and get them to bring it to me better through the process of force fetch. And in my program, it's anywhere between four and six weeks. That's how methodical and thorough I am about this step. The least favorite step to train, but in my opinion, the most important because of the fact that it is the prerequisite to all the things that I mentioned. So, please, like, subscribe, share with your friends, comment. I'm sure I'm gonna get plenty of those and I'm looking forward to them. But whatever you do, do not force fetch your own dog.